Hi, Dr. Campbell. We are so excited to celebrate 15 years of you being our president here at Northeast Alabama Community College. So we decided to take some time to honor you by answering some questions about you. The first question that we decided to ask is, what is your best quality as president here at Northeast? I feel his best quality is probably his servant leadership. Not only does he want what's best for Northeast, but he also wants what's best for his staff and faculty. For 40 years that we've been here together, uh, I've seen him go from uh, pulling ball players out of a gym to the classroom and participating in volleyball and basketball to becoming a great leader and uh, taking what's best for the students and the faculty and uh, making a good community project. His ability to listen, how friendly he is. He gets out of his office and engages the students almost every day. His best quality is that he is collaborative. Uh, he collaborates with students and faculty and uh, with community constituencies. Uh, so I think that's his best collaborative. I think it's his unwavering commitment to the community aspect of community college. Uh, one of Dr. Campbell's best qualities is wisdom. And uh, there's a favorite story I have of Dr. Campbell. It's back not long after he became president. Uh, there was two things that we were dealing with at that time. One is Dr. Campbell was trying to, to get the campus looking better. And at the same time, we were having problems with parking because our enrollment had started increasing as well. So we had built the Lyceum before he became president, but after he became president, there wasn't a parking lot in front of the Lyceum. So we were gonna build a parking lot. So we had a contractor and all that. Fortunately, I was getting to help do some, some, some of the help with the beautification. So I walked over one day fortunately, and, and Dr. Campbell was standing out watching, and they were watching him build the parking lot. And a guy walks up to him and says, uh, Dr. Campbell, he said, uh, it says in this contract that we're supposed to move these trees, all these trees, these crepe myrtles and Bradford pears and all these trees. And Dr. Campbell said, yes, uh, you know, it's in the contract that you're supposed to move them. Well, the guy said, you know, it's been kind of like it has this year. It's really dry and all that. And that guy said, you know, Dr. Campbell, it's really dry. It's, 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 it's a, you know, he said, they probably won't live. You know, if we, if we move them, they probably won't live. And Dr. Campbell sat there a minute and he looked back at the guy and he said, well, let me ask you this. He said, what's their chances if we don't move them? Right? <laughs> and when I heard him say that, I thought, wow, <laughs> what a great answer, you know? And he did move them and we did move them all over campus. And today I walk around and I see those trees and it reminds me of this story because not all of them live, but most of them live and they're beautiful trees. <laughs> I think Dr. Campbell is accessible. His door is always open to not only employees, but also to students and to community members. And that's something you don't often see in administrators. I think he's resilient. Um, and he takes care of all of us. We're his family, and there's not anything that he's gonna let happen to us here. He's not gonna let the state come in and say, you know, you've gotta you know, get rid of this person, or he's gonna fight for us. He's a fighter. He's the fighter for us. I think Dr. Campbell is a great leader. He strives to do all that he can and that we can for our students and for the citizens in our communities that he's a visionary, that he thinks outside the box, and it's evident by everything you see on campus. His genuine dedication to Northeast Alabama Community College and our students. I believe his approachability, both uh, as a faculty member and also uh, as a student, his warmth and uh, generosity with his time uh, has been uh, very compelling to me. When thinking about what quality of his is the best, I would have to say it's his inclusiveness. Um, he is open to everybody and open to new ideas and tries to include everybody, uh, faculty, staff, students, people in the community, and uh, I think that's a wonderful quality to have, so that's what I would go with. Uh, his relentless desire to improve Northeast. He's caring for the students, for the community. Uh, he, he's all about Northeast, and that's, that's important as, as a person who leads our institution. His best quality, in my opinion, 
is a simple word, and that's humbled. So I think his best quality was the ability, through his leadership, to push us to ever and ever better outcomes for Northeast. I definitely think his vision for the college, and uh, you know, he's he's had so much to do with us building these new buildings around campus and and getting um, different colleges associated with um, with Northeast. And it's uh, he really has a vision for the future and and, and uh, planning for for what's ahead. Uh, his ability to empower others to succeed, whether it's a faculty member or a staff member or even a student, I always feel like Dr. Campbell is always pushing us to be our best is how much he loves Northeast Alabama. And I think, uh, you know, between uh, the work he does in education here, uh, economic development, I think he wakes up every day and thinks about, you know, what can I do to improve the lives of people in Northeast Alabama? I think that's important. Um, he's very kind, and I think he sees the best in people and, and the best in what the college could be. He sees the potential, and he has made it happen. He, even, he reaches out into the community, his compassion does. I'm loving his love for the Hispanic culture, for all the culture. Go, Dr. Gamble! Yeah. The next question was, use one or two words to describe Dr. Campbell. Responsible and intelligent. Great leader. Uh, visionary. Compassionate and encouraging. Um, I believe he's progressive and he's practical. I would say wise and focused. Kind, considerate, intense, um, a Pokemon Go master. Generous and wise. He's funny. Um, he's very witty. Dedicated. Hard working. Determined. Extraordinary. Motivating. Congratulations. Congratulations. Innovative. I think he has the gift of being a great visionary. Adventurous. He's a great leader. Passionate. Dedicated. Forward thinking. Committed. Ah! Congratulations. Congratulations! Happy 15 years! Ah! Thoughtful. Intuitive. He's caring. Supportive. Dr. Campbell is authentic and kind. Integrity and passion. Welcoming and hospitable. Driven. Uh, engaged and effective. Compassionate. Utmost respect. Respectful. Uh, and it goes in many forms. Uh, he's respectful to us, he's to the students, but even broader, he is so respected in our community. Uh, our, the faculty here, we highly respect him. He's an enabler. He enables us. Uh, and I think the strongest word along with that, I would say, in my own experience, is he is available. Dr. Campbell is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Integrity. Service-minded. Kind and motivated. He's an encourager. He's caring. Humble. And a people person. What is the most significant change to NACC since Dr. Campbell has been president? You know, I think the most important thing is He's focused on students and student success. There have been so many uh, student services uh, resources and academic resources that he has added since he has been president. So uh, I can tell that's where his focus is, is on student success. Well, both my parents attended and they are Northeast alumni and they have been to campus a couple of times and their comment all the time is, it's grown, it's, it's just the growth is amazing and it's such a progressive campus. The most significant change to me as a business manager has been the financial stability that the institution has achieved. Dr. Campbell has worked very tirelessly to make that happen and we now are financially stable, have been for a while and expect it to go on that way. The beautification of the campus. Everyone talks about how beautiful it is. Dr. Campbell has added a lot of technology and workforce development programs and degrees for people. He has also added a lot of computers on campus. And if you just try by and look at our campus, the beautification that he has done is just awesome. I would say putting us on the national map. 
uh, if you look at all of our uh, awards and accolades, I just think that makes a huge difference in how we're viewed, not only from a state standpoint, but nationally. Uh, the, the beauty of the campus, uh, the outreach of the campus, uh, just the total effectiveness of the campus. A more welcoming environment uh, to the students and to the staff. His most significant change was building self-motivation, instilling that in all of us. It makes us sort of want to strengthen the Northeast family even more. I must say that the way the campus looks, the appearance, the places that students have to congregate, the places that students have to study, the, the, the beauty of the place really enhances the learning at Northeast and that has really, really come to the forefront under Dr. Campbell's administration. I think it's been the community involvement. He's really reached out to the community getting getting more students on campus, but also giving them opportunities to come to campus for events outside of school in terms of plays and things like that. I feel like he's lit a unifying fire of student service throughout the NACC community. Dr. Campbell always pushes for excellence here, and I feel like that has been shown through his presidency by what we've achieved in all of the awards and honors that the college has been recognized for. If you could compare Dr. Campbell to one superhero, who would it be? Well, I'm not really sure if Stretch Armstrong or Plastic Man are superheroes, but I think he has the ability to adapt to the needs of this area and to the needs of the college. So I'd have to say uh, Stretch Armstrong. It would be Batman, because Batman doesn't have any innate superhero powers, but he takes what he has and he makes something fantastic and great out of it. And that's what Dr. Campbell has done. He's made this college a phenomenal, just unbelievable place. And everybody in the state respects it. So I would say Batman. It would have to be Superman because he's faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, and able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Not really, but figuratively, he can do it. Professor Xavier. He is a great leader and a visionary, and he has the ability to find unique talents and in individuals and put them to use for the greater good of the college. I'm gonna go with the Flash because I know how he likes to run and, and, and he's always really quick to respond to new challenges and new opportunities. Wolverine, um, because he's, you can't break him. He, you know, he gets back up, he uh, heals himself, and he keeps going, and that's nice to have him. I'm gonna make up my own superhero. It is Captain NACC. Captain America. Aquaman, because of his support for our fishing team. Batman. He would be Batman, because he's businessman by day, and he's superhero by night. He doesn't have to be in front of everybody to show that he's doing things. Um, a lot of it is behind scenes, but he's a hero, and he is called to duty all the time. He's the Incredible Hulk. Super nice guy, but when it comes to work with the Northeast, he goes into peace mode. It's gonna have to be Captain America. Always balancing the needs of his team with the needs of those we serve. Um, I would say Iron Man, because he's a technology-driven superhero, and I feel like Dr. Kimball is a technology-driven president. He always strives to move forward in technology, and um, I feel like he's done really great at that here in Northeast. He's uncomparable. Until he learns how to leap tall buildings or any buildings, no, he, no, one can, no one can compare to him, he can compare to no one. Now since he's built quite a few incredible ones, that's good enough for me. The Incredible Hulk. Because when you first look at him, you think he's mild-mannered, mild, calm. But if you rile him up, if you attack one of his students or an employee or the college or his community, then he becomes something more and he will defend you.